In today's banger video, we are gonna try to beat Minecraft, but there are custom heads. The custom heads, when worn, gives us extremely OP parasite abilities that can either kill us or make us OP and help us to destroy the Ender Dragon. So guys, as always, watch the whole video until the end to find out if I could beat the Ender Dragon or not. And of course, while you guys are at it, while you guys are here, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And of talk, sit back, relax, let's head right into the video. Hope you guys enjoy the video there is a creepy chest in a creepy biome with a creepy sign on it which says enjoy and with a winking face bro could you please stop with the winking face already whoever you are whoever wrote that sign on the chest i'm gonna find you i'm gonna find you and kill you right away oh gosh that was evil but anyways what is this chest even doing here what are you who are you what's your purpose here chest are you trying to kill someone if that's the case i'm gonna kill you first huh? Wait, what? How can a chest kill anyone? I am so stupid. Sometimes I talk something that I even don't understand what I'm talking. Anyways, the chest was right at the spawn. Yeah, this is where we had spawned. This block right here, like three blocks away from the chest. And the chest is also in the middle of nowhere. Why? And how? And what? I don't understand. I am super confused right now. But we have to see what's there inside the chest. Of course, we all are curious to see what's there inside. So even though there is a chance for us to die, we have to see what's there inside. But I don't really see anything suspicious in it In the chest I mean, around the chest There is no TNT below the chest So I guess we are good And also, I don't think that's a trapped chest I don't think this is a trap But there's only one way to find out So let's see what's there inside the chest Oh, wait, wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Uh, there's a lot to take in right now. So, um, in our inventory, we have tons of head. Player head. And I think that's 12. Is that 12? Wait, hold on. Three, 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 three. Okay, yeah, that's 12 player heads. And inside the chest, we have two netherite pickaxe and a netherite sword. What is this pickaxe? Okay, unbreaking three and fortune three. All right, I'll take that. What is this sword? Yup, it's a maxed out sword. Unbreaking three, fire spec two, sharpness five, looting three. Yo, okay, I'll take it. So we have something to do with the looting and the fortune, I'm guessing. And what's this pickaxe right here? Silk touch. Okay. I think I know what I have to do with all these uh, uh, items. Exactly. First of all, what I'm gonna do, I have to find some sheep and kill them. We need three wolves. Any colored wolves, but it has to be the same one. All the three of them. Come on, sheepy, sheepy. Drop me your wool. Oh, we. Oh, I forgot. Looting and fire aspect. Oh, we get more cooked mutton or cooked food now. Oh, and there we go. The last one is right over here. We got three wolves. Now we have to get red dye. So poppy or red tulip any would work. We just have to find either of them and there we there we go. After we get them, we are gonna turn that into that. There we go. We got the red dice and now we have to get some wood. Okay, let's let's do the basics first. Let's right off the bat start working. Let's get some wood. Also, a crafting table. Now, let's make a few sticks. Time to mine some stones with the netherite pickaxe. OP fortune 3 netherite pickaxe to get cobblestones and then craft the super slow stone useless freaking garbage pickaxe or I mean axe and a shovel. I don't need the pickaxe, by the way, since we have netherite. And the two furnaces. And now, since there is gravel right here, I should be getting first try flint. Yep, there we go. We got the flint. Alright, now's the time for some fun. Inside the crafting table. Wait, can I stack these heads? Oh, there we go. We can stack the heads. Oh, okay. Now we have more inventory space. Now, if I place three of these white wool just like that, two red dice like that, one player head in the middle, and three of these planks, I guess any planks would work. Three of them uh, has to be the same color, of course. Or the same plank. If I do that, there we go. Knowledge book. When we click it, we get a red bed head. Okay. We have to see what it does. So let's just go ahead and wear it. There we go. We are wearing it. So now uh, all these custom heads work once we shift jump. So let's do that. Shift and jump. Oh, wait, as you guys can see, we have, okay, we have set a respawn point. So, it's basically like a bed. We are just wearing a literal bed right now. It's a mini bed that we are wearing. Look at that. The face is its back. It's butt. Are you kidding me? We are... Oh my goodness, I hate this so much. Now, since it's getting dark, we have to kill some creepers, some endermans, and some slimes. So we have to get some gunpowders, enderpearls, and some slime balls. 
Okay, yeah, I guess we have enough. And it's daytime. I hate this. I wanted to use red bed head. I'm gonna use that later on. But now, yeah, we have to craft four TNTs. And that is why we have so much gunpowder. And there we go. We can craft six TNTs. I, I don't need six. If I place four TNTs right over there and four gunpowders just like that in those corners except for the middle one. And in the middle, player head. There we go. Knowledge book. When we click it, we get a charged creeper head. Okay, that sounds really fun, but also really dangerous at the same time. So this pig right here. So if I shift and jump, no. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so I don't take damage to the explosion, but I do take damage, fall damage. Yeah, so that's that's the one thing I have to keep in mind. We have to use this on the inner dragon. That's going to deal a lot of damage. What? That's a ruined portal right there. And there's two gold blocks. Yo, now that is what I'm talking about. Oh, I forgot. I got to get some wines as well for one of the custom heads. And also we need that gold block. Is there more gold block inside the chest? Where this, where's the chest? Bro, where's the chest at? Is there literally no chest in this ruined portal? Are you kidding me? I, you know what? That's totally fine. I don't care. All I need for now is these gold block right here. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take that out. Thank you very much. We have to wait. Where, where did it go? Did it blow up? Oh, I got only one. I am so dumb. All right, whatever. I have to get all these poppies as well. Now, guys, it's time for us to dig straight down. We have to get so much stuff from inside the cave. A lot of ores, gold, iron, and diamonds. A lot of them. So let's just dig straight down right over here. We have to get blocks of them, not the ingots, not iron ingots, but block of iron. So that is how much gold and iron we need. Diamonds? Oh my goodness. Goodness, I'm just digging straight down and I found, found diamonds. Okay, please. That is a lot of veins. Oh my goodness. Can the fortune work? Please? Five already? You gotta be joking. You got. I just straight mine down to the diamonds and 12. That is more than enough. Thank you very much. I needed one block of diamond. That's okay. That's a lot more than what we needed. I'll take it. Now we just have to find some iron and gold. Oh, oh my goodness. I just fell to a cave. Is this a, yeah, it, this is a cave. We are currently in a cave right now. We just have to find a lot of iron. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is going to be fun. There's gold. There's diamonds. And there's all the iron right there. Okay, it's time for us to start mining. We have to mine so much of these ores. Two hours later. Okay, I just want you guys to look at my inventory. Look at that. Look at how much gold, how much iron, and how much diamonds we have. That is a lot. I will I will gladly take it. Now it's time for us to start smelting already. Yep, this is gonna take forever to smelt all these stuffs. I'm just gonna st uh, start smelting a stack of these iron and gold. Oh, I forgot I need... How can I forget coal? Are you kidding me? How stupid am I? And now, guys, while all these iron and gold are smelting, you guys have to hit the like and subscribe button right now. Since we have a lot of diamonds, let me just go ahead and do that. There we go. Now we have 16 spare. I'm gonna make a chest plate. A chest plate and also a diamond leggings. There we go. We are good right now. That is what I'm talking about. Also, we have to make two red wool. So, yeah, there we go. We got it. That was easy. Now, for the next custom head, we have to get four blocks of iron or four blocks blocks of gold any would work and boom there we go that's gonna be four blocks of gold there we go we got it so one player head in the middle four of these gold blocks just like that and with the rod of flesh if i place them in the remaining corners there we go knowledge book when we click it we get a zombified piglin head okay we are gonna test all of these heads out but before that i'm just gonna get all the things i can all the custom heads we can craft right now boom and there it is we got the iron ingots we need all of them there we go four blocks of iron so now if i do that with the blocks of iron and four poppies just like that and of, and of course the player head in the middle there we go again knowledge book when we click it we get an iron golem head as expected i knew this was gonna be iron golem dude we have to test all of these things out they sound really fun now what i'm gonna do for the wines i'm gonna make a shear there we go and there we go we got more gold ingots for more gold blocks and now all these gold that is smelting right now are extras. So do I even need them? I don't think I need them. But I need all these iron. Okay, I need, again, four more iron blocks. Oh, wait. I totally forgot about this. There's... 
Oh, uh, okay. There's one custom head with the slime balls and the player head. So if I do that, eight of the these slime balls just like that, and one player head in the middle. There we go. Knowledge book. When we click it, we get what is this? L slime head. Okay, got it. I will gladly take it, dude. Are, are you kidding me? I totally forgot about that. Anyways, there we go. Now we can make more blocks of iron. Again, four of these blocks of iron, just like that. Four gunpowders this time, just like that, and one player head in the middle. There we go. Knowledge book. When we click it, we get a Boba Fett head. Wait, what? Who is that? Is that the Star Wars character or something? Because he looks like it. Well, I don't know. We have to see what he's gonna do, but oh my goodness. There we go. Alright, now let's get all our stuffs back, and now let's get the heck out of here, and back to the surface we go. And here we are. We are back at the surface. Now, let me just go ahead and cheer that real quick. There we go. We got the wine. We need four of them. So again, inside the crafting table, if I place one player head in the middle, four slime balls, just like that, and the wines, just like that, in the remaining corners, knowledge book. There we go. If I click it, we get a baby Yoda head. Uh, uh, okay, I guess. It is Star Wars. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is Star Wars team. Okay, what I'm gonna do, since it's nighttime, let's see if I can turn nighttime into daytime. So if I shift and jump... I, it worked. It worked. I can actually change time. Wait, what happens if I use this in the nether or in the end? Dude, I really want to test it out. Now, let's see what the uh, zombified piglin does. So now, if I shift jump... Oh! Zombified piglin guards. Okay, so now, on the skeleton right here, right here. So if I shift jump, it should attack it, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that is awesome. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now let's test out this, uh, the iron golem head. Wait, what? Zombified piglin summon reset. Oh, I guess these heads have cooldown for the abilities. Oh, that's totally fine with me. Um, wait, hold on. Uh, can you guys see down below me? Am I? Wait, I'm actually pooping out poppy. What if I shift and jump? Wait, hold up. Look at the effects. Uh, look at my hearts. We have health boost 5, hero of the village 101, and strength for 20 seconds. That is awesome. You guys are gonna get red. Can you guys stop it, please? Okay, let's move on to the slime head now. So if I shift jump with this... Oh, oh, oh. We have jump boost 2 and speed for infinite? Is that for infinite? Slime blocks? Why is there slime bo blocks below me? I don't know, but I'll... I'll take it. This is awesome. So I don't really think I can take fall damage with this. Probably. Because there are slime blocks below me. If I, yeah, yeah. All the blocks below me turns into slime blocks. I will gladly take it. Now, finally, what about the Boba Fett head? I'm wearing it. So now, can you stop it? So now, if I shift and... I, I don't have to jump. What if I jump? Nothing's happening. So if I shift, I get some kind of like, what, dead pack? Is that dead pack? I guess so, because there was fire below me when I shifted. There we go. And I get levitation three and slow falling. Oh, that is awesome, bro. We can fly now. All right, now that we are done with this, it's time for us to enter the nether. And before we do that, before en we enter the nether, we got to find lava pool and we have to get obsidians from it. Three obsidians is enough. So it's time for us to find a lava pool. Yup, and that's cool. We found the lava pool, and you guys are fool if you guys don't hit the like and subscribe button. Yeah, I tried to rhyme, and you guys are not fool. I'm just kidding. I sounded really bad. I know. There's a river right over here. Can I find some squids? Because we need black dye for one of the custom head. Yup, and there we go. We found squids. There's a lot of them here. All I need is two of them. Two inks. And there it is. We got two black dyes. Now, let me turn three of them into obsidian. Come on, please. There we go. That's two and there we go. That's it. I'm done. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I also need two books. So I need to get some sugar canes and then eventually craft it into a book. There's perfectly enough of sugar canes right over here. Okay, there we go. We got it. First of all, we got to make two books. There we go. We got it. So two of these books just like that. One block of diamond right there and one head right over there and two of these red wool right there and three obsidians finally right over there. There we go. We get the knowledge book. When we click it, we get an enchanting table head. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. I will take that. So let me just go ahead and put that on. And now if I hold this chest plate and shift and jump, as you guys can see, it's enchanted. What is the intent? Oh, cool. I'm breaking three in protection. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the leggings as well. But wait, hold on. Does this thing have cooldown? I think it does. So if I do that, yeah, it, ha it has cooldown. And there we go. Enchant cooldown is reset. So now again, if I shift jump with the leggings, there we go. It's enchanted. Protection two, not bad. I'll take it. We have two protection armor piece. That's really good. Oh, by the way, we didn't test out the baby Yoda head. So shift jump. 
Oh, it gives levitation to, to the mobs and it's gonna die. There we go. Easy. This is OP. These chickens, they are hackers. And now there's the lava pool right there. It's time for us to create or make our own portal into the nether. Boom, there we go. The portal is done. Let's light it up. And now it's time for us to get inside the nether. And here we are. We are inside the nether and we are nowhere. Okay, this is perfect. Now, hold on. First of all, let me just grab my portal real quick. All right, now we either have to find the Bob Forest or uh, a nether fortress. Can you stop it, guys? A few moments later. Oh, Bob Forest it is. There we go. We found the Bob Forest. Oh, this is gonna be good. Now, hold on a second. Let me just grab one wood. There we go. We got it. The wobbed stem, and now if I do that, and now four of these blocks, planks, wobbed planks, just like that, four ender pearls like that, and one player head in the middle. Wait, why is it not working? Is this the other way around? No, it's not. It's not working at all. Why? What block is it? Oh, there we go. Now it works. It's actually the wobbed wart block. Oh, gosh, that is so weird. Knowledge book, when we click it, we get an enderman head. So now if I shift jump, I teleport. Okay, cool. I knew it. Where are all the endermans we have to kill a lot of them actually just a few of them i'm just kidding okay 12 is enough you guys will see how and why and now since we are done with everything inside the wild forest it's time for us to find the nether fortress a little longer than a few minutes later oh and there we go we found the fortress and we found the place spawner dude this is going on perfectly right now and there's all the places right there we are in the fortress as well for now all we need is four blaze rods that's it. And we got it. We got it. We got it. And now all we need to do is just turn that into that. And eight of these blaze powders just like that. And one player head in the middle. There we go. Now let's quick. When we click it, we get a blaze head. And this is probably going to give us fire resistance. If that's the case, it is going to be amazing. Yep, I was right. This is so easy to guess. What else can I do? So if I shift and jump... I should fireball. I should fireball. Literal fireball. That is awesome. I can s swim in lava now. I can swim on these fires. I can stand on fires anytime I want. You guys are no match for me anymore. All right. Now what we have to do, we got to get exactly five blaze rods. That's it. We have five blaze rods and that is more than enough. We are done with everything inside the nether fortress as well. It's time for us to create or make our own portal back to the overworld. Boom, there we go. The portal is done. Again, let's light it up. And now it's time for us to get back to the overworld. And here we are. We are back in the overworld. First of all, we got to craft that into that. I mean, blaze rod into blaze powder. And now some of the blaze powders into eyes of ender with the ender pearls. There we go. We have 10. I don't think we needed that many. But now eight of these eye of ender just like that in all those corners and one player head in the middle. There we go. Knowledge book. When we click it, we get an eye of ender head. Head. So now if I shift jump with the eye of ender head Oh, wait, hold on. Look at my chat. Stronghold distance is 1387. I am living my life right now. So that is why, as I said, I didn't need that many Eye Offender. So you guys might be thinking, you need the Eye Offender for the portal to complete it. But no, trust me. I am doing, I know what I'm doing right now. All right, so now, before we get inside the stronghold, let's find a village. We have to get some potatoes. Four blocks of iron, just like that. And two of these dice right over there. Two baked potatoes right over there. And finally the player head the last one in the middle we get the knowledge book when we click it we get a king mumbo jumbo head wait what who the heck is he is he like a youtuber or something wait hold on let's see what he does so now if i shift and jump oh wait as you guys can see left side of my screen my effects we have region 2 and absorption and region 2 is gone wait is it like a golden apple effect i mean if it is i'll take it whatever it is it's doing good for me and i will gladly take it we are heading the right direction and guys we have a Officially completed crafting all the custom heads. Now all that is left for us to do is to defeat the other dragon. One eternity later. And here we are. We are inside the end. And there is the ender dragon bar. We are up in the surface. So now, wait, hold on. I gotta try this out. Shift and jump. It works. Okay, that was so bad of me. So it is literally a bed. Okay, that's totally fine. I get it. Well, at least none of my heads, custom heads, blew up. Hold on a second. What if I use two heads at a time? So as you guys can see, we have strength. And now if I, if I, if I put uh, this on, we should get the golden apple. 
Wait, I can stack it. I can use multiple of them at once. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. Okay, Ender Dragon, come on. You got a perch. Oh, and before that, it's time for us to take down all the end crystals. Boom, there we go. All the end crystals are down. And there it is. There's the Ender Dragon perching right there. Let's use the charged creeper now. And there's the Ender Dragon's head and... Oh, did that do damage? I, I don't think it did much. What if I use this? Uh, the, the blaze one. Come on, dude. Do some damage. Yep, there we go. Just like that. But that's not a lot of damage. Yeah, it's too hard to hit the Ender Dragon with all these abilities. I'm just gonna use the strength from the Iron Golem and then kill the Ender Dragon with this OP sword, I guess. Come on now. I gotta do a lot of damage since I have strength. That, how? How? How do you do that? How do you unperch so quickly? And you just perch quickly. Dude, I, I think there's something wrong with you. You gotta chill. Stop becoming invisible. Give me your... Look at the... Da I, I destroyed it. I destroyed it. Okay, uh, two more perks, and then it's gonna quickly die. There's one, and that is definitely a lot of damage. Okay, it, it unperks. That's fine. The next time it perches, that's the second one. That's the last perch. Can you stop flinging me around? There we Okay, what I'm gonna do? Come on, please. This has to work. Where's my touch? So you see, if I do that. Oh, that was awesome, dude. The Ender Dragon just got killed by style. Oh, Ender Dragon, I am really sorry about that. I just killed the Ender Dragon with Creeper. Charged Creeper, I guess. I don't know. Thank you so much for all the satisfying experience. And there's the Dragon Egg right there. And boom, there's the Dragon Egg. We got the Dragon Egg as well. But guys, if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Check out all these custom heads. The link is down in the description for the data pack. It is absolutely fun. You guys can also have one just like me. No, not this me. Yeah, this me. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end this video right here. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, have a great day. See ya. Bye.